there are two main types of vocabularies on the device when you're creating a user. So, and to create a new user, I know you all have one already loaded, but if you go to the options on the bottom right, and you can always delete user, so and then you go to user, the very first one, and you want to add a user. And here you, you can type in any username if you're creating it for a child or a student. And then in the vocabulary section, at the very bottom here, you generally want to pick either core word or basic communication. Those are the main two different types, and I can talk about the differences between those two. You wouldn't really want to pick blank vocabulary because it's actually easier to just delete things from a vocabulary instead of adding, re-adding everything. And you'll see mine says copy of basic communi communication and copy of forward. But if you already have other users, it'll say copy of other things. So if you want to just create one that's a little bit different from something that you already have, you can just copy that vocabulary. But I just named them like this, so I would know which one I'm going to. I just named basic communication and forward. So I'm not going to create this here. And this one that I'm in right now, you see I'm in basic communication. This is basic communication. It's for uh, individuals that aren't as good at using the app. It's really the first step. If you were using Quillipo to go, you'd want to start with this. And then if they're getting it really well, you could move to port. So, and you'll see there's less boxes on this than in than if you're in Portward. If you're in Portward right now, you see a lot of different boxes, more than four rows by four columns. And you'll see also there are a lot of different folders on this. So more instead of just having buttons, if you tap it, it'll go into different different sections. So I'm going to take a look at the core word user. And you'll see the thing you can notice is that They've already done some color coding with different things. Like these green green borders are going to be kind of directional, and then the orange borders are going to be things like I, you, it, and the pink are just other small words that you might want to use. So this this vocabulary, the core vocabulary, is if kids are ready to be creating sentences. Like instead of saying I want a cookie, if they want to say I would like to. Have so it's more for advanced. And it's got this actually a dedicated section to little words that are, that are here. But it also has some on the front page. But this could be overwhelming for a lot of kids if they're not used to using Proto-Modigo. So that's why you should always just start with the other vocabulary and move on from there. Um, so any questions on the differences between those would you like to go back to one? All right, we're good? All right.